So there's gonna be three simple steps for us to do. First, we're gonna set up layer four so that we can hold the keynote. Second, we're going to set up a staff styles to allow the Q notes to show. And third, we're gonna actually create the Q notes in that order. So let's first define layer four how you want it. So open up your document options, go over here to layers. We're gonna go from settings from layer one to layer four. Free stem and ties, where we want the stems to face up. We want them to all be in the same direction. Adjust floating rests by six steps. That'll make sure that the rests aren't in the middle of the staff, they're actually above it. And we do not wanna hit this button because that'll because we're going to have other notes in other layers. Hit apply. And then the last thing we want to do is go over here to your score manager, open this up, layer four, and we want to mute it because we don't want these parts to actually play back. These are cues for the drum set. That's step one taken care of. Step two, defining the staff styles. Open up your staff tool you can find over here or just press the keyboard shortcut. Come over here to define staff styles. Now we're going to do this on the one bar repeat, although you can repeat this if you want to also do it on just normal slashes or you can even create your own new staff style over here with new. We're gonna come down here to alternate settings. If you create your own staff style, you want to select one bar repeat, apply to layer ones. And for other layers, you wanna select show notes. This is turned off by default, but we want that. Hit okay, hit okay. If we want to apply our one bar repeat and it's all set up, it'll also retroactively work for any one bar repeats we've already applied. So I'm gonna take out that just for now. So that's step two. Now we wanna move on to step three and creating the actual cue notes. So we're gonna come over here and we're going to just enter some dummy notes in here. Boop, like that, highlight it. Now we're just gonna create this as a cue in layer four. So we're gonna come up here to plugins, scoring and arranging, and then we wanna add cue notes to the drum set part in a layer four. Let's not name the cue for now. And deselect everything because all we want is the notes. Hit okay. And we can see they're already in layer four. The rest is up above the staff because that's what we wanted to do. And all the stems are facing up. Great, that's where we want it to be. Then highlight everything again. And now we're gonna create it all in one line. Let's come up here to note beam and rest editing. And then we want to find single pitch. Nice single pitch is G5. That'll get it right at the top of the staff. Boom, right like that. The cue is looking great so far. And the last thing we wanna do is apply our staff styles. And there we go. A nice drum set cue. And if we want to name this on the, like trumpets. We can come over here to technique text, TPT, or however you want to do it. And we have the cue in the drum set part. That's it for today. If you found this helpful, make sure to hit the like button. That way I know you want more content like this. Each week I post new content about how to use Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button so that we can stay up to date with all the latest Finale tips and tricks.